Can we have a hug? So far, so long. Come on. I have this story on my hour. No, if you haven't gave it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> this rural Ireland tragic tale narrates a sad, seductive scale concerning lust without discretion. August Bjognock, nor the other freshman. Or once ago, for the old little farm near Carlow, the book of man named Mihal Moore, and only saw the clock before. Shh. When work was done as in the day, he'd settle down for a cup on tea, and seldom felt the call to stroll or spend his evening time egg hole. <laughs> now his intellectual needs were drawn from books like Peg the Bitch, August Lisa God. <laughs> and so it was, been in, been out, or Mihal never moved about. But he dreamt of Colleen. Most men do. But never sinned on Tegum too. <laughs> Meantime, up in all had clear, this Colleen Das had a bright idea. When late this year, a time came by, she decided she would like to try. Oh, you cute like Carroll. No foreign food, not far to go. <laughs> and there to meet the native clan. August bade her find herself. <laughs> This Colleen Das with eyes so blue was known in town as City Sue. <laughs> all the lusty bookily came crawling and all decided she was gone. But she left her men in state of shock. Oh, me, how more be Kormach? For the scarlet woman knows each trick and she's heading west. Where are they? Now the lights are in the parish hall at the local Fania Wears Ball. Ve me hollow and ve Susie on. Dressed in the most revealing gown. Burn our brave two column of the west with his two county medals across his chest. Exclaimed when City soon came in. In enemy Ferkish. Go nervous till he took a chance. Give me the file to will you dance? <laughs> Galua on the floor, they thrust cheek to cheek, head to foot. So whispered into me, Hall's ear. Finish them now, let's disappear. <laughs> Back to my place, the door is unlocked. You'll stay the night or show me a hook. <laughs> Christ, me Hall's head was in a spin. Me Revshe thinking thoughts, Marshin. He blessed himself, this Jezebel was surely damn his soul to hell. He stood a gash, could hardly stutter. So off he bolted her a runner. <laughs> I was great on my day to bed. Take it to the rosary, said. <laughs> now me Hall Moore still sleeps alone in a lab of yoke. Oh, he often dreams of Shomra Hut. Grimira Mahabat, me me all that. No class photography, please. No class photography. In my father's time... Shh. That story, you know, before we sing a song and I'm gone. In my father's time, many moons ago, when I was a small boy... Shh. We lived in a small village called... Bally Homadokomoshri. In fact, it was so small we used to take it in when it rained. But the village was good to the strong village and people used to live till ages of 100, 110, 150. But Jesus went to shoot some of them to get the better of them. But the actor came down from Dublin, you see, and he built a new cemetery up in the Hubble Lane there, up in the Hubble Hill, was very right in the village. So you got a caretaker with Ronda Lay with a big stick and go, they don't, lads, they don't. But I remember the queerest things used to happen. I remember Tom Murphy coming up the main street. Now you know it was the main street because the further up you went, the main or it got. <laughs> but he would hit the front door under his arm. Says I, Tom, what are you doing with the front door under your arm? Says he, I'll ask the key, Eddie. I'd be afraid I'd be locked up when I go home. <laughs> Says, oh, you better not lose the door, you'll never get in. <laughs> Says he, I left the window open just in case. <laughs> but there was a lovely she being of a pub and the Landlords, because landlords are kind of tight old feckers, decided he closed the pub to renovate it, you see. And he left 400 men in the village homes. So on the grand opening night, he invited all the old regulars back into the pub. So there were two old codgers, Johnny and Roy. <laughs> they used to plunk themselves in the corner, you see. The two boys now came in on the opening night, you see. And it, the barman, now the, the landlord, had put a mirror on one side of the bar, and he put a mirror behind the bar, 
and he put a mirror on the ceiling because the architect told him it would give more depth to the barrier scene. Now the two boys, old codgers, had never seen a mirror before. Their entire lives they had never seen a mirror. When they used to shave, they used to stand up to each other and describe it. <laughs> so the boys pumped themselves back in the corner of the bar and Mikey says to Connie, he says, Jesus Christ, he says, not alone has he done a massive job in the place and renovated it, but he's extended it as well, you see. Looking at the mirror behind the bar, he said, isn't there another bar behind the bar? Jesus Christ, guy. All right, he says. And there's two old fellas sitting down there in the corner. They look fierce familiar. Jesus, one of them looks like your father. And he was young for that. He says, you're right, mate. The other fellow looks like your brother in America. He says, do you know what? He says, I'm going to go over there and buy them a pint. No sooner had he got up off the sea with Connie. He says, sit down there, come over to my earth, buddy. <laughs> And that's the way it was. <laughs> 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 <laughs>